Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV. I'm Jenny and I'm back with another BTS member photo folio uh, videos and unboxing. So this time it's Jin. Um, now Jin has gone for a concept that I really appreciate. Uh, uniforms, pirates. I mean, if he's wearing an eye patch, well so the way this works is i'm going to watch the three uh videos for the photo folio then i will open my own one please remember to like comment and subscribe in the comments uh what other concept would you like to have seen Jin do i don't know because with a face like his he could do any and you know what, the sense of humour he has, I wouldn't put anything past him. He could come up with something completely ridiculous, like clowns. I mean, I wouldn't like that, I don't like clowns, but you know, he would do something like that and pull it off. So the first video is uh, only 30 seconds long, like 29 seconds. So uh, I'm assuming that's just a little teaser. So we'll start with that one. Wow. Makes me want a holiday. Oh. Okay, first off, Sea of Gin Island. Where where is this island? Because I want to move there now and never leave. I mean stunning. He's stunning. And what a nice setting as well. Every time I see something like that with the sea and you hear the birds, it's like, I just then need a holiday. Yeah, let's go into the next one and get some more detail. Now, the next two, I'm not sure what order they go in. So I'm just gonna maybe go with the next short one and then go with the longest one last, I think. I really do miss him. Aaron isn't going to survive this. It's like two sides of gin. Professional gin and joker gin. Oh wow, <laughs> that's dedication. Especially when you're having your photo taken. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be a bit rough to be a pirate. Yeah. Bit more mix and match. <laughs> I do love a man in uniform. That depends which angle you're coming at it from. Okay. 
I'll be honest, the sea scares me. <laughs> That's how it happens. We're sleeping when you don't need to be. Fisherman Jim. A bonus edition. What you mean is you wanted to do some fishing and thought, take some pictures while I do. You know, things about those is he doesn't look dressed up. I also hope you enjoyed the day out of doing that. Oh, that's a nice jacket. I wonder if any of them did come up with... <gasps> Jin! Is that so... Th that's more undone than, than I expected from Jin. Bonus. You haven't experienced Super Tuna until you've done it at um, BTS Club Night in London and the whole crowd does it. Lot of experience in learning choreo. He looks in just a crisp white shirt. Mm. 
You know how people would pay for those if they started selling them? That's the one Aaron would want the shark. He's just so fun. I love, like he said, that he's gone for two um, contrasting, contradicting um, concepts in that obviously they would be battling against each other on the seas, the pirates and the navy. So the fact that he's both, I think that says a lot about him. Like I said, that you've got the navy side would be professional, serious, big brother Jin, um, who looks out for the others, gets the job done. When he needs to focus on work, he can and he will, and he can be very serious about it. And then you've got pirate Jin that is just a big kid and has so much fun. And he's just hilarious. And I feel like that's his that side of him. And he's quite rebellious, is Jin. We've seen it with like, I've seen the clips of the, the uh, V Live when he was told he couldn't cut his hair, so he cut his hair himself on V Live, and you know that rebellious side that he does have. And then I like that you added in the last concept. He said it was a bonus, the um, boat worker, like fisherman look, because actually that kind of gave a bit of a I'm just a normal guy vibe. He wasn't dressed up a lot. He didn't look like he had a lot of makeup or his hair was done in a particular way. It looked very casual. Um, and I think, again, that really suits, and it, you know, it shows Jin's character that he's a down to earth, normal guy and he likes fishing. So why not have it in there? And I'm really glad we got that extra part on the end of Super Tuna because who doesn't love Super Tuna? And like I said, during, you haven't experienced Super Tuna until you've done it with 500 Army at BTS Club Night in London with the 101 event CEO Kaylee up on stage performing it. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's good fun. And I know that you can buy those um, Super Tuna t-shirts on various sites, but I'm really surprised that Hype didn't get in on that and actually release an official one. Because people would have bought them. I would have bought one. I know I would. We'll get into the final video. Um, I'm not sure what this one will be. Just maybe more of the photo shoots. And I should say, before we continue, I was really surprised at how low, how undone that shirt was under his jacket. I know he had it closed when he was leant forward. And I did wonder what was underneath or if there was nothing underneath. And that's why. Then when he was holding the board, you could see... That, that's a lot of gin skin. We don't normally get that much. So uh, thanks, Jin, for that. Okay, so we're getting more Super Tuna. So this is all done around the same time. Then these photo folios were done a long time ago. Don't be embarrassed, it's fun. I mean, I work with kids and they love this song. Okay, so we're going back. He's just enjoying being out at sea.
But like I said, the sea scares me. It's too big, too deep, too much is unknown in there. Okay, so this is how Super Tuna came to be. I've never been fishing. Okay. I don't know fish, fish are fish. <laughs> See, I don't think I have the patience for fishing. <laughs> so this is how they write songs. <laughs> This is where Super Tuna was born. I love this being written on a boat out at sea instead of in a studio. You know what? This is why Jin and Erin are a perfect match because she absolutely loves sharks and she would be so excited to be there with him and see a shark. <laughs> I'm 
So this is how we started a lucky fishing song? <laughs> this song just makes you happy. <laughs> oh, he seems like a really nice guy. <laughs> oh, he's got his bow in. <laughs> <laughs> well, we get to see him showing it to the others for the first time. I'm glad it makes him this happy. So he's doing this after doing a whole concert because he's still got the bow in his hair. <laughs> Do they ever just sleep? I loved that. I mean, as much as I love seeing all the photofolio stuff, to see all that behind the scenes stuff for Super Juno, oh my God. Um, so, because we never actually reacted to Super Juno on the channel, just because it came out when we weren't together to film for a bit and it was just everywhere. So there was no avoiding it. So we'd all heard it, we'd all seen clips. So there was kind of no point, but uh, hopefully something with it will come up in future that we can do. So I can't believe I just watched <clears throat> a 10 minute video of basically someone fishing. I mean, yes, making a song whilst they're there, but fishing. As someone who has no interest in fishing, I'm surprised that I just watched that and thoroughly enjoyed it. And it didn't feel like 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm 
that was really enjoyable to watch Jin's video. But then I think it's Jin, isn't it? I could watch Jin do anything and it's fun. And like I said, Jurin, I can't believe that he's gone and recorded the vocals for that after doing a full concert. Because he still had the bow in his hair from... It's one of the PTD concerts. I can't remember. There was like, LA, Vegas, um, Seoul. Yeah, so th like I said, do they ever sleep? Okay, so first I'm going to take out all the goodies and show you those. And then we'll go through the book and I'll pick out some of my favourite pictures to show you. Okay, so first up, the big photo card. Oh, Pirate Gin. Look at that. Gorgeous. And then on the back for the group piece, we've got a kind of sporty gin with lovely fluffy hair. This is the stuff I'm going to have to check is still in there when Erin's been round. Okay, so we have the stamps. Okay, wow, just look at that. So handsome. Right, photo cards. We have. Mm, I, just, I love how the photo cards are selfies. And another navel gym there. And the special gift. Are some tuners drawn by Jane, I'm assuming. There we go. Got two tuners. And three sharks. Now the book. Right. So straight off the bat, first picture. Look at that. Again, just second page and I'm already having to turn it around but look at that huge picture of his face I'm gonna run out of words for just how stunning and really beautiful this man is Wow look at that picture with the reflection in the water and the sky behind that's amazing. Now, I will say this, this picture, beautiful. The only thing missing, like chipped nail polish. Yes, that's what I want in that. And do you see what I mean about this one? It's just, it seems like a very natural look. Like when you come up with concepts and you can have but like the costume, like you said, for the pirate one or a uniform like he has for the navy one. And then something so, I don't want to say basic in a negative way, but stripped back maybe. Like these two. I think it's very easy for people to say, well, of course they're handsome. They're an idol. They've got all the makeup and the lighting and the hairstylist and all of that. But he's just, I think these ones show more of his just natural beauty. And I know they would have had makeup and styling and lights and all of that, but still, it's very natural looking. Never thought I'd be looking at a picture of a guy wearing welly boots and thinking, hot, but I am. More over this top one. Because, because it's a very natural smile. You can tell it's not a forced one for a photo. They've just caught him laughing. This just makes me miss him more. And I know I've said it in an episode of Run we're reacting to that I'm when I do see him in stuff now, I think, oh, Jin, I miss Jin. And I'm sure you kind of understand it and get it too, that it's, it's an odd feeling because it's not like I'm used to having him around to miss him. And it's not like I'm used to seeing new content all the time so that I'm missing that. And I still have all the old content to watch. So that's still there, the same as it was before. In a way, with him being in the military now, nothing in my life day to day has changed. Yet I do miss him. Please let me know if there's like a technical term or explanation for that because I don't know what it is. I'm sure you all understand it though. 
in a way it's like you could only talk to army about this feeling because people in your everyday life that aren't in it would be saying don't be a ridiculous you don't even know him do you know what i mean but you guys get it i know you get it um yeah okay so that was my reaction to Jin's photofolio videos, including the special Super Tuna stuff in there and uh, my unboxing of his photofolio. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, the next one of these will be these. Yeah, so I'll see you there. Bye.